All right, Gary, so uh, looking with the driver, pretty much, you know, throughout all of it, wedge to driver, your, your body's just moving too much. Um, your body can be a lot more stable. So even with the driver, it looks like, you know, you kind of rotate too much, the arms get behind you, you, you don't have very much leverage, and then on the way through, it's like you're really throwing your body at it and your arms don't really ever have any time to speed up. Um, so the arms and hands produce all the speed. The body's just there to keep your body in position and, uh, and be stable. And so with the driver, you know, I want you to make swings where you feel like um, your body's really not moving that much. I want you to feel like you're mainly just swinging your arms. So in the back swing, I want you to just feel like your right arm folds and your hands and your wrists hinge. You feel like you're only going about halfway back or a little bit further. And then on the way through, you don't have to rotate your body very much. Most of this is just releasing your arms. And so um, again, from down the line, you can, uh, you can stick your butt back a little bit, make sure you have some knee flex. Um, but again, don't feel like your body moves very much. Just let your right arm fold, hands hinge, and then maybe a little bit of turn and then release. And so you'd be amazed at how fast you can actually swing by not really moving your body very much. And so like, watch this, I'm just gonna stick my butt back, get a little bit of knee flex. I'm gonna feel like my body doesn't move very much. I'm just gonna swing my arms and I can, I can probably swing, I, as long as I fold and hinge and then release, um, I can probably swing a driver 110 miles an hour. Um, so that's where most of the speed comes from. That's what I would work on uh, with the longer stuff.